Here I'll show you how to work on multiple worksheets at once in Excel. This could be a selected few worksheets within the workbook or every single worksheet within the workbook. And I'll show you how to add formulas, functions, how to add text, remove text, data, delete data, how to format data, and it's going to copy over to all of the worksheets that you selected. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. The data that I have here is pretty simple. I've got a very standard set of sales data for products and January, February, March. And I have three tabs, one for each store. Now before you begin, you want to make sure you have a couple things set up in your workbook. So here on every single tab, you'll notice that the data is in the exact same place, the exact same cells. That's very important because what I'm going to show you here will actually overwrite any data on the other worksheet tabs. So first, make sure your data is set up exactly the same. And then what we need to do, the very first step after that, is to select the worksheets that you want to have all of your work copied over to. So look down here to our three tabs. To select more than one tab, you hit the control key and select whatever tab you want. Let's say store three. So now we have tab store one and store three selected. To deselect this, select any tab that has not currently been selected. If you want to select all of the tabs at once, go to the first tab, and then if you have many, many tabs, you might have to click the arrow key over here to go to the very last tab. Hold the Shift key and click Store 3, and it selects the first, last tab, and everything in between. Now when you select all of the tabs, just click any tab that is not currently visible. So in this case, Store 2 or Store 3, and doing that is going to deselect them. So if you just select a couple of them and you click between them, it will not deselect them. You have to select a deselected tab. But if you click all of them, clicking anyone that's not active will deselect it. It looks really stupid for me to say that right now with just three tabs. But if you have 45 tabs and you selected 44 of them, it can be kind of annoying to figure out how to deselect all the tabs. So let's go ahead and select all the tabs in this case. I'm going to hit store 1, then the shift key, and store 3. Remember, you hit control if you want to select individual tabs. And you can also deselect them by hitting control and clicking whichever one you want to deselect. Let's hit control, click. All right, so we have our worksheets selected. And now let's go to the very first basic example. And this is just to show you that whatever I type here is going to go through all of the worksheets. So let's go over here, and let's just say max sales hit enter and don't worry about these numbers changing I'll show you what we're going to do with them in a moment now let's go to store 2 tab you'll notice we have max sales and store 3 max sales select all the tabs again remember it will overwrite whatever you have in the other worksheet tabs so if I hit ASDF here then it will have ASDF and all of the other tabs now let's back that up, select all the tabs. And as you might expect, if we want to delete the data, I can simply select the data, hit delete, and it will delete it for all of the worksheets. Easy peasy. Now the next thing I want to show you is that you can paste the data into the workbook. It's so simple. All you have to do, go get some data to copy, go over here, select all the worksheet tabs, hit control V and it pastes for every worksheet tab so nice and easy now as you may start to realize everything that I do on one tab is gonna happen on all the others pretty much what I'm gonna do for the rest of the tutorial or exactly what I'm going to do is to go over examples of how this can help save you time but if you already understand the basic concept of it, you select the worksheet tabs, do something on one, goes to the others, and you don't feel like watching the rest of the video, I'll understand, and that's okay. You don't have to watch any further. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this table out now and make it a bit more useful and show you many examples with doing that. So the first thing is what I have here, all these changing numbers. 
What I use to fill in sample data is very simply the rand between function. So I've done that on all three tabs. And normally, I would go ahead and remove the rand between function, but I haven't done that yet. So let's select these, go up here. Let's make sure that's empty. Go to the next tab. Good, good, good. Now what I'm going to do here is copy paste special values. I've shown you how to do this in other tutorials. It's one of the most important keyboard shortcuts you need to learn. So I've selected all my worksheet tabs, hit control C, alt E S V, enter, and it has converted all of these functions, the rand between functions to the currently visible values. So we can see that on every single worksheet, the currently visible value, no more rand between function. Now I'm not covering the copy paste special values shortcut here, but just know it control C alt E S V. Now I don't have to do that between all three worksheet tabs. Nice and easy. Now let's go ahead and build this out, make it a bit more useful. I'm going to put max sales here. I'm going to put min sales here. I'm going to do a formula equals max. Select these cells. Another formula over here equals min. Select these cells. Then let's go ahead and select them and copy them down. Now go between the worksheets. And I love it. It's on every worksheet, has the formula, easy peasy. Now let's say that I had something on this worksheet here, store one. Let's say I wanted to make a totals row. And we can do very simple equals some copy it, paste it over. So I have it. Works nice, perfect, but I forgot to do it for the other worksheet tab. So you'll notice no totals row, no totals row. What I can do here, it's really, really cool. I can now select all of the worksheet tabs where I want this totals row or where I want anything that's already on store one worksheet tab, but not on the others. Select the worksheets. Now select the data that you want to be copied across. Go to the Home tab, go to Fill, and select Across Worksheets. Now when I do this, I have three options. I can fill everything across, I can fill just the contents of the cells, or just the formatting of the cells. So let's say, for instance, I spent a bunch of time formatting this worksheet, the visible one right here, and I made it look nice and pretty and lovely, just how the boss wants it, but I forgot to select the other worksheets. Well, I could use this to essentially copy paste all of the formatting or all of the contents, whatever I want. So let's keep it at all, hit OK, go to the other worksheet tabs, and now we have totals. And you can see the formulas update to work on the current worksheet. So that's actually one of my favorite things because sometimes you forget to select the worksheets or you didn't select all the worksheets, you did it on one worksheet, all you have to do to copy it over. Select the data you want to copy over, Home tab, Fill, and then select Across Worksheets. Now it's grayed out here because I didn't select the worksheets to which I wanted to copy the data. So select the worksheets, Home tab, Fill, Across Worksheets. Now I'm just going to show you some very quick formatting examples because formatting is, I think, one of the best things to use for this. Let's say I want to change this up here, cell style, let's give it heading four. These, let's just make, let's, let's do this, let's make this heading four. Let's make this heading four, but larger. Let's make these bold. And let's go down here, do this. Now let's check it out on the other worksheet tabs. Perfect. This will really save you so much time. Oftentimes you will be dealing not just with store data down here, but you might have monthly data or yearly data or quarterly data. 
And in that case, the data sets, they're going to be formatted exactly the same. Now you want to verify that, of course, but it's just going to make your life so much easier. However, you aren't going to be able to do every single thing. So for instance, let's say that we wanted to select this data. If I'm here, I can go to data tab, add a filter, easy peasy. But if I select all three worksheets, you see it's all grayed out. So we can't do everything, but we can do quite a lot of things. So you can see here, even page layout, we can do a few things as it relates to printing, add some breaks. But the basic thing that you're going to want to do with multiple worksheets at once, add formulas, add functions, add text, delete data, and formatting. Formatting, 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 because you can spend a lot of time formatting your data in Excel. But that's it for this tutorial, and that's how you can work on multiple worksheets or every single worksheet in a workbook in Excel at once. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.